Hi, this is Tom Baxa from Baxa Art Academy, and today I'm going to show you how I pack up a painting to ship. Uh, this isn't rocket science or anything, but maybe you'll pick up some tips that'll be useful. So the first thing you want to do is cut out some strips of foam core, and basically you want to create kind of a raised lip around the actual painting surface so nothing touches it during shipping. You want to tape those down, just tack them down simply. Then you want to cover that with a piece of tracing paper and tape that down. Now here's the key. You want to cover your artwork on front and back with a sturdy piece of cardboard. Uh, I'm using foam core here. You can also use pieces of masonite. Uh, which is good for an expensive piece of art that you're shipping. You really want to just protect the artwork from getting bent the best you can. And I just use a little bit of packing tape and tape it up real well around all the edges. Keep it from slipping around too much in the packing. I like to include a simple thank you note in my packages. And since this is a magic card painting, uh, I like to include a signed artist proof, maybe some other free cards. And it's always a good idea to put some marketing materials in your package. This is advertising my art book and my website. You just put that in a little envelope and tape it to the package. It's a good idea then to bubble wrap your sealed painting, give it an extra cushion, and then you want to tape it up real well. You want to make sure you never put bubble wrap directly on the surface of an oil painting because it'll leave dots from the bubble wrap on the actual varnish of the painting. Once that's taped up real nice, I like to put the whole thing in some kind of plastic bag to protect it in case uh, when the package is being shipped it's raining or snowing. So this just waterproofs it a little bit. I just use cheap garbage bags. No sense in spending extra money on a fancy bag. None of this has to look fancy. You just want to make sure it's sealed up real well. Now for the final box. Uh, if the painting's small enough, I love using these FedEx boxes. They'll give them to you for free. Uh, if you're shipping UPS or postal, you can't use a FedEx box, so I turn it inside out and uh, do a little construction on it. First I put a little strip of glue so it holds well. You have to do a little bit of work. Sometimes you have to cut off some of the cardboard flaps to get it to close up nice. You get the hang of it once you've done it a few times. So you want to put the sealed up artwork inside and get it closed up. Do a little bit of construction. I like to use strapping tape here or monofilament tape it's also called because it's really strong and it holds well. So when I'm putting this box together it's nice to use the strapping tape. Once you get some of the major things put together I also use duct tape uh, to finish it off or regular packing tape. At this point you could ship the package as is, but if you have an expensive painting you're going to want to insure it for more and you want to make sure you follow the UPS guidelines for sending a package. 
they basically, as an insurer, they don't want to pay you if something gets damaged. So you want to follow their guidelines closely. The first being you have to wrap the package in two inches of bubble wrap all the way around. So you want to get a little fatter bubble wrap and wrap it all the way around the package. And then you need to put it in a brand new box because they say old boxes don't have integrity and they could fall apart more easily. So you want to use a brand new box and make sure you stuff it nice and tightly with bubble wrap and then tape it up. I like to put fragile stickers on the outside of the box so hopefully the driver will be a little more careful with it. And then write with a magic marker on the actual cardboard the address. Even though UPS is going to put a sticker on there, you're going to want to write it on the actual cardboard in case the sticker gets peeled off or lost. It's written on the actual box. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, like I said, it wasn't uh, rocket science or anything, but maybe there's some tips that you might not have thought of that will really help protect your artwork when you're sending it out to a client or to a collector who's paid some money for it. And when you get a chance, go check out BaxArtAcademy.com. We got all kinds of neat things, including our new ebook releasing "Get Work as a Fantasy Artist," with lots of tips on how to break into the industry, build your portfolio, talk to art directors at conventions, how to uh, send your artwork samples to the art directors at companies. All kinds of great tips.